Unfortunately, you cannot hear me because my mic did not pick up anything I said. This was just eight minutes of probably just pure nonsense, but in this case, we're gonna say pure elegance. Nine times out of 10, I was probably talking about the direction I want my content to go in, but do we really need to talk about that yet again? So I know for sure in this video, I do read. Yep, this is somewhat of a reading vlog, but not really. I have been reading Cersei for over a year and it is time for me to finish this book. However, I have fallen so out of love with reading and I really want to get back into it. I used to be an avid reader and I really want to get back into it. So that's what this is going to be about. But first, we have some chores to do. If you don't know already, one of my many interests or hobbies is making sourdough bread. And I love to make sourdough sandwich bread in particular because I don't really eat bowls like that. So I love a good sandwich bread. And I mostly eat sourdough for myself because I'm gluten intolerant, but also my family really loves it. So I make it for all of us because why wouldn't I? And it turns out that sourdough is pretty healthy for you. So it's a win-win in my book. When I usually talk about being multi-passionate, I do tend to speak on the creative side, more like fine arts, drawing, painting, sewing, that type of stuff, versus talking about things that are just a little bit more simple like cooking or baking, bread making. And I will say bread making is a lot more simple than it sounds, I promise, especially sourdough. And don't get so bogged down on being perfect with the bread making. I promise it takes the fun out of all of it if you do decide to take up bread making. I do have a really good avocado toast recipe. Obviously you're gonna smash up some avocados and season them as normal. And then you're gonna top it off with everything but the bagel seasoning and put some balsamic glaze on it. And it is so good. And if you really wanna get fancy, cut up some tomatoes, but try to make them thin. It is so good. It is so good. Not that this is a reading vlog or anything, but I really don't know how this reading portion is supposed to go. All I can do is just say that it has taken me a long time to get to this point where I'm actually sitting down and reading like this because it was so hard for me to even just pick up a book and read it for more than 10 minutes. And I do contribute that to not having the attention span that I used to. And I will say, yes, I do play my phone. I scroll so much and I know that it's a problem. And I will say, I really want to trade out scrolling with reading. It's very easy to fall out of love with reading when you don't have much of an attention span. So I will say if you've ever been an avid reader in the past and you can't get back into it, I suggest putting your phone down 
putting it away from you and picking up a book a good book don't let it be anything you know that's not good otherwise it's not gonna work and get into it So I just got back from the gym, but I had a package on the front porch and this dress was in there. My friend is having a Spanish themed party and she just said wear flowy dresses. So I was like, okay, I don't have a flowy dress. So let me get one, but I wanted to make sure that you know i was gonna wear it again and that it was in a style that i really liked and i really do like this and i think this is a good like obviously summer dress that i can wear for years to come it is from free people i think i have a video on here it's a very old video of me shopping from free people and i do love the quality of free people i have heard recently that some of the quality is the same as shein or shein is a wholesaler for free people i don't know how true that is but i know that the quality of this is good and in the past i have really loved free people's clothes do you think this is good the only thing is there is a lot of cleavage going on so i may have to like purchase a little bandeau but in the same color but we'll see. Uh, I have about a week to figure that all out. But I am loving the back. Don't mind the tag. I really love the back. And it's just really cute. And I think it goes along with the theme a lot. So we'll, we'll figure out the little cleavage part. My mom doesn't think it's too much. But I think it's a little much. And of course my dad thinks it's too much. <laughs> so I did get some reading done. Thank goodness. I am on page 302 now. So I think I read about 20-ish pages, is that right? Yeah, right around 20-ish pages. I could probably finish tonight if I start like now, but I need to shower, I, I definitely need to shower. I do have some other packages from Amazon. Having my titties out like this is crazy. Whatever, we're all grown, right? I bought some screen protectors because mine actually shattered, which it did what it was supposed to do. I actually had a privacy screen on my phone and that made it very hard for me to film, especially when I film with my back camera. I decided to just get a regular privacy screen. And also in this package, oddly enough, came the um, Amla powder. I used to use this all the time when um, I was a little bit younger and I'm not gonna say it grew my hair but it definitely helped with breakage and since I've had these braids in for a while I do think that like if I oil my scalp mixed with some amla or amla I think that's how you say it it'll maybe have less breakage I'm still gonna have a lot of shedding but maybe less breakage second package marshmallow root i also used marshmallow root in my mixtures the ayurvedic ayurvedic mixtures so amla and marshmallow root marshmallow root helps a lot with detangling in my opinion it just makes it very slippery or gives your hair slip and then i also got some raspberry leaf tea this is good for pregnant women, but I'm not pregnant, but it's also good just for the lady parts and the lady down there and all that. Oh, and menstrual cramps. I do tend to drink this tea. I usually get the Buddha tea, but I wanted to try the traditional med medicinals. I won't say it gets rid of the cramps completely, but it definitely lessens them in my opinion. So don't think this is like a cure-all or anything like that, cause it's not. It, does get the job done and just in general raspberries are good for you so i was like okay let me just keep this
am seriously just in the coziest mood right now, and I'm just going to keep up with it. I'm back in my bed. We watched hours of gymnastics, track and field, and swimming, and it was so amazing. These are the days that I just love when it comes to the Olympics, where we can just watch everything. <laughs> I did almost finish this. I ended up reading a little bit more last night because I could not sleep. I think I was just wired from coffee. So now I am on page 331. I read about 50-ish pages and today I have 54 pages left over. <sighs> that that's so good. Like, I really got into it. The pacing can be off sometimes. Like, sometimes I just feel like certain things drag out for so long. But then I'm like, well, that's not a bad thing necessarily. Otherwise, the book would be really short. The characters in here, I think, are pretty well written. I don't have too many complaints about the book. Just the story itself, the main character is, like I said, very flawed. And... Of course, all of the other characters are flawed as well, um, which actually makes for a really good story. So I really cannot complain there. I do think I could get 54 pages read by today. I am actually planning content right now. Like I've been sitting here for the last 30 minutes planning some content and I feel like I have some really good ideas like outfits I wore last week. And then I wanna repurpose that into a future video where I talk about how I want to stop wearing sweats when I'm just like in the house or just running to the coffee shop because I do tend to just reach for sweats, especially because it's summer and sweats are hot in the summer. And then, you know, the normal current skincare care faves and then I want to do like AM plus PM routines side by side then ASMR close-up slash silent review and honestly that gives me a decent amount of content so I'm going to take a break from the content planning and read maybe a chapter half a chapter I don't know right now and then work on something that I've been meaning to work on since yesterday I gotta stop announcing myself I have 10 more pages and we are done, which is just technically one chap, one more chapter. Well, two, there's actually two more chapters. I'm assuming this last chapter is really short. Yeah, it's like three pages. I haven't read like this in so long, so I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I need to do this more often for sure. This was really good. I'm not even gonna lie. I hate that it took me over a year to read. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long. I think I just told myself I was too busy to read. So I didn't pick it up for a while. Overall, it is a good book. I will say there were some parts where I was just all like, oh my gosh, girl, stand up. But I get that like she had to learn. It does end up being a book about love. It's a book about tragedy. I really don't want to spoil it. So I, I'm not gonna like dive deep into this book or anything. I'm not a booktuber. <laughs> the next book I would like to read or finish reading is the song, uh, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I am on part two of the book. There's two parts. So I can check a book off of my 2024 reading list. I don't have a reading list, but I think I do want to make one. I mean, there's what, six five more months left of the year. There is another Hunger Games book coming out and I am looking forward to that. So I definitely do want to finish um, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. But I'm glad I got my reading done. I feel very accomplished like that. Like, I don't think you guys understand how rewarding that felt, especially after like falling out of love with reading. Like it is just so hard to get back into doing a hobby or an interest again and I don't know it just, that just felt so rewarding so honestly today was just the absolute perfect day an amazing Saturday I would love to spend more Saturdays like this but I know in the next the next few weeks I know are gonna be kind of jam-packed you know I have 
my friend's birthday party on Saturday and then my birthday party the Saturday after that and I think another birthday party the next Saturday. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it all of course but I would love to have more days like this and obviously I do like to keep the weekdays more work like other than Fridays. If you made it this far leave a white heart or a black heart and that is all i will see you in the next video don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this and i will see you in the next one bye